Okay, and here I'm just going to talk about the conclusion. You need to cite data. Our hypothesis is that momentum is conserved. Conserved means that these two numbers, even though they aren't exactly the same, okay, were supposed to be the same. Now, if there was an uncertainty, if you just look at these numbers, right, say the uncertainty is say a tenth of a gram meter per second, then the lowest that could be is 71.1 and the highest that could be is 70.6. So they definitely couldn't be the same number then. And so we would, we would then question conservation momentum. And if we could keep confirming that these numbers are different, then conservation momentum wouldn't, <laughs> we'd disprove it, right? But if you look at this, this difference here is actually about, what is that, 0.7, right? Just one of those uncertainties is enough to slop this guy down low enough that it would even cover this thing, this point here, right? And so there's, there's no question. We didn't prove conservation momentum, but we certainly didn't. This certainly supports it. They're relatively close. The uncertainty is more than enough to cover it. And that's what you need to say. You need to talk. You need to say the before momentum was 71.2 gram meters per second. After it was 70.5 gram meters per second. Given that the um, uncertainty before of 1.6 gram meters per second, and the uncertainty after of 1.6 gram meters per second, uh, certainly this is enough uncertainty. A total of 3.2 gram meters per second. That would be enough uncertainty to cover the disparity between these things.